Okay, so this first thing that I want you to do, just go ahead and take your chin and bend down, touch your chest like this. Okay, perfect. And then come back up. Any pain with that? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Let's take a measurement here. Okay, and one more time. So 11 centimeters, and then go ahead and um, look up at the ceiling as far as you can. Okay, any pain with that? Mm -mm. Okay, come back down. And one more time. Go ahead and look up the ceiling. Pressure here. Okay, there? Yep. Okay, and the other side. A little bit of low pressure here. How are you doing there? Good. Okay. Okay, so go ahead and look to your right. Rotation to your right and to your left. You can make a couple there. marks okay. on your back here with a sharpie. Sure. Okay. Okay, you bend your head forward. Okay, so bend forward again as far as you can go. Okay. Okay. So the next thing I want you to do is hands on your hips and bend backward as far as you can go. Look up at the ceiling. Okay. Okay. Any pain with that? No. Okay, go into that motion one more time. You can apply a little bit of overpressure here. You okay? Okay. One more time, go ahead and bend backward. And up here. <laughs> <laughs> Good. And 70 degrees of extension. Go ahead, uh, with your arms at your sides, just twist your trunk and look at the opposite wall. Okay, any pain with that? Mm -mm. Okay, a little bit of oil pressure here. Okay? Nope. Good. Okay, the other side. Same thing. You okay? Feels good. Okay, perfect. Okay, go ahead and rotate to your left. Okay, right there at 60 degrees of rotation. Okay. And the other side. Go ahead. And 57. And then I want you to stand like this and lean to your left, your hand at your side, as far as you can go. I want you to pay attention not to bend forward, bend backward. Okay, so just straight down to your side. Any pain with that? Mm -mm. Okay, a little bit of overpressure. 
shirt here. Okay. Yeah. Breathless. Breathless. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It really cuts off your <laughs> breath supply. Okay. All right, into the other side. All right, over pressure here. Okay, are you okay with that? Nope. Okay. okay, so go ahead and put your hand at your side again. And go ahead and bend to your left. Okay. And to your right side. Okay. Go ahead and bend down. All right, equal motion on both sides. Sweet. So this next one, I'm just gonna do the same motion. Just gonna have you bend to the side, okay? Let me just place these. And whenever you're ready, bend to the left. Okay, perfect. Good motion, 60 degrees. And bend to the right. And whenever you're ready, bend backwards again. Okay, good. About seven centimeters of extension. Okay, good. And eight centimeters of lumbar flexion. Five degrees of lumbar flexion, very slowly, bend backwards. Okay, go ahead. And 25 degrees of extension. Okay, whenever you're ready, bend to your left. degrees that way and to your right okay and 51 degrees that way okay so the next thing we're going to do is test some of your muscular strength okay so I'm gonna have you lay on your back on the foot here okay so this first thing that I want you to do is think about tucking your chin down to your chest like this, okay? But leave the back of your head on the table, okay? Good. Are you okay with that? Mm -mm. Okay, so I'm gonna have you do that same position again, and I'm gonna give you some resistance to pull you out of that. Don't let me move you, okay? Okay, so. Pull, 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 and good. Any pain? So for this next one, I want you to think about bringing your forehead straight to the ceiling. Okay, so come straight up. Any pain with that? Mm -mm. Okay, come back down. Good. And then this next time, I'm going to apply some resistance, okay? So come up and hold, 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 and good. Okay, any pain with that? So for this next one, go ahead and look at the far wall over there. Okay, good. Any pain? Nope. Okay. And one more time, I'm just gonna apply resistance, okay? So look up and hold it. Hold, 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 and release. Good. Okay, so this is 
Okay, so I'm going to have you turn and look at the camera, okay? I want you to move back into a neutral position. I'm going to resist you, okay? Okay. So go ahead. Hold, go, go, push, 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 push. Good. Any pain with that? No. Okay, same thing, opposite side. And go. Push, 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 push. And relax. Good. Any pain with that? No. Okay. Go ahead and look towards the camera again. Now just lift your head up off the table, straight towards the ceiling. Okay. And hold up. Hold. 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 And relax. You're wincing a little. Did you have pain with that? No, it was just hard. Just hard? Okay. <laughs> you did great. Okay. Look towards that opposite side. And lift your head up off the table. Good. And hold. 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 And relax. Okay, so for this next test, I'm going to have you take in a big deep breath. Uh, I'm going to hold that breath and I'm going to apply some pressure to your stomach. Okay, don't let me push the air out of you. Okay, deep breath. Okay, hold, 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 and relax. Good. Okay, okay so for this next one, I'm going to have you put your hands behind your head like this. I just want you to do a sit-up, okay? Come up and touch your knees to your elbows. Good. And come back down. Good. Okay, so this next one, same motion, only come up, bring your left knee or your left elbow to the opposite knee, okay? So twist, twist, and then come up, okay? Go ahead. Okay, go back down. Do this, do that one a little bit differently. So I want you to think about twisting first oh. and then coming up. Okay. Okay. Okay, one more time. Good. Okay. And do the same thing on the other side. Next one I want to do, uh, I'm going to apply some resistance to the side of your head here. And I don't want you to let me push you, okay? Okay. So. Hold, 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 and relax. Good. Any pain with that? Okay. Right side. And hold, 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 and relax. Pain with that? No. Okay. So this first one, place your hands behind your bed, behind your head. Sorry. Okay. And then lift your back and your belly button up off the table. Okay. Whenever you're ready. Okay. This one, I want you to scoot off the table so that the bottom of your breastbone is just off the table. Okay. And just hang your, your trunk and your arms down. Okay. Then I want you to put your hands behind your head and come up as far as you can. Hold. And good. Okay. And hands by your side and do the same motion. As far as you can. Hold. Good. Feel. Carotid pulses are two plus and palpable. I'm going to feel for the sternal borders here, second intercostal space on the right, second intercostal space on the left. Fifth intercostal on the sternal border, and then fifth intercostal mid axillary for the point of maximal impulse, which is the apex of the heart. I'm going to take a listen.
heart sounds over all four positions. Uh, RS1, S2, no murmurs noted. Had there been any murmurs, I would identify the location, the timing of the murmur, uh, the frequency, uh, the pitch, um, describe the sound of the murmurs. Um, then we will move on to our vascular and peripheral vascular. Uh, so like I said, her carotids were two plus and palpable. I'm gonna move down to the brachial. Which are both also two plus and palpable. Radials are three plus and palpable. I'm gonna feel for the aorta. Two plus. I'm gonna move down to the iliac. Two plus. We're gonna go to femoral. Those are two plus as well. Moving down to popliteal. Two plus. We're gonna do post tibial as well. I know her feet are a little bit out of picture, so I'm reaching just behind the ankle. And then pedal on top of the foot. Pedal and post tibial are also two plus. I'm gonna check capillary refill by squeezing the patient's finger. Cap refill is less than three seconds. General body color, um, skin is pink. Uh, indicating that there is good blood flow to extremities uh, and then we will move on to auscultating the major arteries to listen for brewing. No brewing noted in any of the major vessels, carotid, uh, aorta, uh, iliac, or femoral. And then we will move on to the uh, pulmonary assessment. So I will have you go ahead and sit up for me. All right. Move this pillow just so I can come behind you. So for pulmonary, we're going to start with breath sounds. I'm gonna listen posteriorly first. Go ahead and get some good deep breaths. Posterior lung sounds um, were easily heard. No abnormal breath sounds noted. No um, crackles, rails, wheezing, anything like that. Um, so we are, while I'm in the back still, going to check for thoracic expansion as well as taxile fremenis and diaphragmatic excursion. I'm going to place my hands here. Please take a deep breath in. Good. So my fingers moved evenly apart as well as my thumbs, uh, indicating that the um, thoracic expansion is symmetrical and she does have normal diaphragmatic excursion. I'm going to use the heel of my hands. Go ahead and say 99 or blue balloons. Blue balloons. Blue balloons. Okay. Blue balloons. All right. Tactile firmness is normal. And then I'm going to 
deeper cuffs over the posterior field as well. Normal pitch and resonance noted on percussion of the posterior fields. No indication of pneumonia or any other um, consolidations in the lungs in the posterior fields. I did also listen to the right middle lobe uh, when I had her lift her hand. Breast sounds in the right middle lobe were normal as well. And I will percuss that. So go ahead and lift your hands up. Reaching just below the axilla. Uh, same their resonance uh, is normal upon percussion. I'm gonna come to the front. So while I'm in the front, I'm gonna take note of the placement of the trachea and the sternal notch. And we're gonna take a listen. So same things again, deep breath. sounds in the anterior plane are all normal uh, and then we will take note of clavicular sternal notch the sternum running central and then the right lobe as well here seen on the right side which I had already previously um, auscultated her anterior posterior range of motion of your wrist fingers and your thumb okay so go ahead and put your arm on the table just like this and flex your wrist okay go ahead and extend your wrist Go ahead and relax. So now you're gonna put our hand on the table just like this, and you're gonna bend towards your thumb. Okay, go ahead and go towards your pinky. Okay, go ahead and relax. So now you're gonna make a fist, but make sure your fingers are straight, just like this. Okay. Now go ahead and make a claw with your hand. Keep the same position. Okay, go ahead and relax. So go ahead and put your palm on the table facing up. And what you're going to do is touch the top of this and then slide your fingers all the way down with each finger. All right. So the next thing we're gonna do is position your hand just like this and bring your thumb out.
Okay. Now put your hand facing the table, just like this, and bring your thumb out. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is position your hand just like this and bring your thumb down. Okay, next, bring your thumb up like this and just bend just like this. And the last thing we're going to do is we're going to touch each of our fingers to our thumb. Go ahead and put your elbow on the table with your palm facing you. Okay, go ahead and turn your palm facing me. Hold it there, don't let me move you. Go ahead and lean forward. All right, now turn your palm facing you. Hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay, now turn your palm facing me. Hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay, go ahead and relax. I'm on the table with your palm facing up and can you bend your wrist towards your pinky? Okay, so hold it there. Don't let me move you. Okay, now flex your wrist towards your thumb. Okay, hold it there. Don't let me move you. Okay, now put your palm on the table. Extend your wrist towards your pinky. Hold it there. Don't let me move you. Okay, now extend towards your thumb. Hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay, now tuck in your elbow and lean forward. Now extend towards your thumb. Okay, hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay, now go ahead and put your palm facing up, just like this. Hold it there, or flex, and hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay, flex, hold it there, don't let me move you. Flex, hold it there, don't let me move you. And flex, hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay, the next one, go ahead and flex. With the tip of your finger, hold it there, don't let me move you. Flex, hold it there, don't let me move you. Flex, hold it there, don't let me move you. Flex, hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay, now go ahead and do the duck hand. Okay, so hold it there, don't let me move you. Hold it there, don't let me move you. Hold it there, don't let me move you. And hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay, go ahead and relax. So this next one, go ahead and do this with your hand. Okay, so hold it there, don't let me move you. 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 Okay, now go ahead and do the longhorn sign. Okay, so hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay, hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay, now put your palm on the table just like this. Okay, now bring this finger out. Hold it there, don't let me move you. Now bring this finger out. Hold it there, don't let me move you. Bring this finger back this way. Hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay, now bring this finger out. Hold it there, don't let me move you. And your pinky out. Hold it there, don't let me move you. Okay, go ahead and relax. So this next one, go ahead and put your elbow on the table. Do this. Okay, 
So go ahead and hold it there. Don't let me move you. Hold it there. Don't let me move you. Hold it there. Don't let me move you. So, so for this left. next one, go ahead and put your palm up. Go ahead and flex your little finger. Okay, hold it there. Don't let me move you. Go ahead and do the longhorn sign again. Hold it there. Don't let me move you. Okay, now put your palm on the table. Move your pinky out. Okay, hold it there. Don't let me move you. Okay, now touch your pinky to your thumb, just like this. Okay, so hold it there. Don't let me move you. Okay, so this next one, position your hand like this and bring your thumb out and then bend your big thumb. Okay, so hold it there. Don't let me move you. Okay, go ahead and flexing your thumb. Hold it there. Don't let me move you. Okay, go ahead and extend your thumb. So, hold it there. Don't let me move you. Okay, and extend. Hold it there. Don't let me move you. All right. So, go ahead and put your elbow on the table, just like this. Okay, make sure your thumb is close to your hand. Okay, so hold it there. Don't let me move you. Okay. Okay, the next one, go ahead and put your hand on the table facing down. Like that. Okay, go ahead and bring your thumb out. Okay, so hold it there. Don't let me move you. Okay, now put your palm facing up and out. Okay, so hold it there. Don't let me move you. Okay, now put your thumb touching your pinky. Okay, so hold it there. Don't let me move you. Okay, let me support your arm. So go ahead and flex your wrist towards yourself. Okay, hold it there. Don't let me move you. Okay, keep flexing. Hold it there. Don't let me move you. Go ahead and extend your wrist. Okay, hold it there. Don't let me move you. Keep extending. Hold it there. Don't let me move you. Okay, go ahead and tuck your elbow in and lean forward. Extend your wrist. Okay, and hold it there. Don't let me move you. Okay, go ahead and relax.